An American Conference Football Media Day continues, and we turn our attention to the Central Michigan Chippewas head coach Jim McElwain. Coach, uh, appreciate the time. Um, when you look at this year's team, what do you have coming back? What do you expect, and, and some strengths? From yeah, this year's I, I, I got to tell you, I. Well, uh, you know, most coaches, I guess we're not supposed to do this, right? Uh, I like our team. <laughs> I think we're pretty good. <laughs> now time will tell, right? But, but I truly think we have a really good football team. We've got a lot of really good pieces, a lot of really good parts. The key is going to be for us is now bringing all those into a whole, right? Making all the parts a whole. But, uh, you know, I was kind of gunning towards this season a little bit with our recruiting. Uh, kind of thinking like this was, you know, this was one to kind of earmark and circle. And yet all of a sudden every team gets everybody back, <laughs> right? So uh, be like playing BYU every week, you know? <laughs> so, but uh, with that being said, it's, it's, it's one of those deals where our guys are going to have to step up a little, little higher because of all the guys that are returning from the other teams. When you look at... Um this group, have you been happy with what you've seen through the spring? I know we haven't started camp yet, that'll start in no. a little bit, but, but are, what, yeah. do you, what do you think about the way this has gone leading up to camp? So, you know, here's kind of our MO, you know, called the way it is, you know, we, we kind of start off pretty good and then we go through a lull, then we kind of, but we haven't learned how to finish yet. So one of the things we need to do is, as a program is learn how to finish. And that's really been the biggest piece, I think. Uh, what I saw going through, I thought we had a consistently good spring practice. Uh, and yet, you know, we got like, look, there's things we've got to clean up. But at the end of the day, you know, as I go back, I like our team. I, I think we have a good football team. And I really think we have a good football team. And I'll be excited to see them play this fall. Three and three a year ago. Um do you take a lot away from, from a year like that? I, you got to practice. You got to play yeah. six games. Yeah. Um, is that something that you look to build on? Yeah, you know, and I think we learned a lot. You know, I really do. I think, uh, you know, in our case, uh, I probably made, you know, well, I'll call myself out. I, I gray-shirted our whole freshman class <laughs> not thinking that we were going to play, right? Well, all of a sudden we're playing, and next thing I know we're playing with 55 guys, right? <laughs> so we, we actually cross-trained guys last year. We, we practiced a lot like a high school, and yet what we did is we took the year to really kind of focus on ourselves and, and get ourselves a little bit better. Didn't like the results, uh, and yet it, 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 I also told our guys, you know what, we're playing. Mm -hmm. Because there was a time they took the game away from us. So let's go out and enjoy it. Um, what do you expect to be strengths uh, of the 2021 Chippewas? Well, um, you know, I think it all starts up front. Uh, you know, for anybody to be successful, you gotta be good up front. And I really think we have uh, some parts in that offensive line. We've got some guys back that were injured a year ago, uh, didn't play, and uh, you know, they're back to full strength. I'm excited to see those guys in the fold with some of the new guys that we have. So I would say, you know, from that position, I think defensively, um, you know, we're a little thin by numbers, but we've got some pretty darn good defensive linemen, and, and uh, those guys are going to have to step up. Tell me a little bit about Troy Hairston, co-MAC yeah. Defensive Player of the Year. What makes, makes him special? His motor, uh, plain and simple. Uh, the guy just goes. He just goes and goes and goes, and, and uh, he's a great leader on our football team and, and a guy that learned, has learned how to practice and really practice at a high level, which there in turn <laughs> elevates the people around him. So uh, coming into this season, you know, people are going to know who he is now, right? So they're going to be sliding to him. They're going to be chipping him. So the importance is what happens on the other side. Right, uh, as those guys get one-on-ones and, and that type of thing. So I think it's really important for us. Uh, again, those parts have to come together. A, a lot of times guys with that kind of motor kind of get everybody else going. Is, yeah. that, is that fair to say Troy's yeah, like that? Troy's like that uh, Khalil Pimpleton, you know, who uh, I'm just telling you, if you see his smile, it's infectious. I mean, I absolutely love this guy, the way he approaches it. And both these guys, the way they approach meetings, the way they approach practice, uh, they enjoy playing the game, right? But more than that, they enjoy practicing the game. And that's a big deal too. So 
Um, having those guys as leaders, I think, is a, is a really good thing for us. Jim McElwain, uh, head coach of the Central Michigan Chippewas. Appreciate it. Best of luck in 2021. You bet. Appreciate it. We're going to step aside, take a quick time out. On the other side of the break, we'll hear from a couple of those Chippewa players. Mac Media Day from Ford Field continues right here on MLive as well as Cleveland.com. Stay with us. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line, a long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just a mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Mid-American Conference Football Media Day continues with the Central Michigan players, Khalil Pimpleton and Troy Hairston. Guys, appreciate the time. Troy, let's start with you. Um, Co-defensive player of the year in the conference. What keeps you motivated? What do you want to do this season? What do you want to see from yourself and your unit? Um, well, first of all, um, obviously retaining that title two years in a row uh, is a you know motivation for me. Um, that's a goal of mine. Uh, uh, going higher in, in, in the places with All-American. I want to be two-time All-American again this year. Um, and then as far as the team, uh, I just want us to be able to put our pieces together that we have, the tools we have, and play together. And it will be cool. We'll be straight. So, so Khalil, wide receiver, also a punt returner, yes, and um, highly thought of on both uh, fronts. Yes, Tell me a little bit uh, what you want to see from yourself. Uh, you know, just, just, just me giving my all every play. Just me giving, giving every training, every uh, ounce of training that I have, that I put in, bringing out every play. That's, that's pretty much all that is. Yeah, guys, three and three in a COVID season a year ago. What about the expectations this year? Cliff, we'll start with you. What do you, what do you guys expect from yourselves? We, well, we expect, we expect to win, and, mm -hmm. and we expect to win every down. Uh, and we expect to play in the now. We don't expect to play in the, uh, the last play. We don't, we don't expect to play the next play. We expect to play this play right here and win it, execute our job. Troy, this defense, um, when you are playing the way you want to play, mm -hmm. what are we seeing on the field from Central Michigan's defense? Um, we see dudes play together, uh, especially up front. Uh, we see dudes rushing together, playing together, stopping the run. Uh, secondary and, and, and backers, we, we expect them to do their job, fit and fill, you know, uh, uh, PBUs, breakups, all that. So we, we expect really just to be a dominant defense out there. So. Um, confidence level. Tell me about the confidence of this team going forward. I mean, uh, probably best teachers is experience, um, not, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, with all, mainly most of our starters coming back, um, a lot of experience on that defensive side. Um, you know, uh, we, we know what we can do. We know the players we have, you know. Um, dudes like Devonnie Reed, George Douglas, Troy Brown. We, we got the pieces, we got the parts, and a couple other dudes. And, um, you know, we expect them to do great things. So. Khalil, coach said uh, you guys love to practice. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that, how important it is to the success that you've had uh, that you're willing to put in the work. Mm -hmm. Well, co coach himself, he, he, he makes us like practice. You know, just the energy that he, that he makes us bring. You know, that we, we're going to bring it, but the energy that he makes us bring. Uh, just, just to come out there every day uh, and, and, and be able to compete uh, and, and compete right now. Like, like I said, that's something that he really harps on is competing right now, focusing on the now. So uh, competing in the now uh, so we can worry about the film, you know, later. But at the same time, when we're focusing on that film, we're focusing on the now. Troy said you play with a high motor. Mm -hmm. uh, by design, how important is that? Uh, do you sense that the defense kind of rallies around you because you play all out every down. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, that's a big advantage, especially when it comes to rushing the quarterback and, and, and you know, setting the edge. Uh, do tackle maybe done in maybe three plays, maybe longer series, I still got more to go at eight plays, you know, yeah. so that, that helps a little bit. Um, definitely, we got a bunch of high motor dudes on the team. You know, that's something we preach. That's something we run the ball, we attack the ball as a defense. Um, we ball hawks, and the ball's a big magnet on the field. So, you know, everybody gonna give their all. That's how we train, that's how we practice, and we practice how we play, so. Troy Hairston, Khalil Pimpleton, appreciate the time. No, we guys. appreciate you. Best of, best of luck in 2021. Thank you. Appreciate it.